All right, guys, what's going on? Shell's back here again with our Manchester United career mode here on a Football Manager. I'm sure you call this a career mode, but it's a career of Football Manager per se. We've got a game against Getafe today I'm going to show you guys, but first we're going to have a look at a few of the schedule. As you can see, we have played every game here from Wolves to Aston Villa. So four games played. It's first nip in to the Wolves game. Um, didn't go to plan this game. I'll show you the goals here first off. Shaw here throws this in, and this is just intercepted by Doherty. Fred Pack passes it right into the feet of Diego Jota, who seems to have an absolute unbelievable goal scoring form. We got back into this here. Shaw, great dispossession here. Lovely through pass to Andres Pereira, who left foots it past Rui Patricio's goal into the back of the net. That was a brilliant. Thought. I thought we were going to steal a draw here, but no, it wasn't to be. Diego Jota again, 1 2 here. There was question marks whether he's offside or not. It was absolutely on the money and fair play to Wolves. They got away with it. So uh, credit to them. Nice win for them. Next up game, we played Burnley at home at Old Trafford. And yeah, it started pretty well. Martial here. Easy finish, you think? No, not for Anthony Martial. Off the post, assist to Marcus Rashford, who then buries in the back of the net. I thought that was a little bit uh, greedy, but hey, it got the job done. Juan Bissaka down the right here, lays into James, who finds Martial front post in front of the defender. Basically, you know, defending 101 fail there. McTominay, lovely back pass here to Martial, who flicks it across, and then look at that for a finish. Absolutely no chance for Nick Pope. He's not getting anywhere near that one. And that was a beautiful 3-0 win. We absolutely annihilated them. I mean, look at that. Two shots in the entire game to our 21 and on a target. We just absolutely murdered them that game. Southampton away, I believe, at St. Mary's. This was another good game where we, I uh, thought we did a really good job. Pretty even game, but again, you've got to be clear of other chances. They did play five at the back, which I do feel is a bit of my my bogey formation. But early on, Juan Basaka here gets, you know, this death ball in attacking position, but a terrible clearing from Bertrand to Adam Rashford. Rashford passes into Marcel. I thought Marcel was offside. Thankfully he wasn't though. And then Bruno Fernandes lays it right into the head of Paul Pogba. That is why he's so essential to this team. And yeah, pretty, you know, convincing chance. We only had one clear cut chance each, but in the end we put two goals away. So you could say it was an error on their head that, you know, gave us the goal. And then game against Aston Villa here. Again, a 2-0 victory. Seems to be, you know, a bit of a you know, a bit of a thing. But again, look, Aston Villa, one shot on target there. And I think that's a pretty clear indication here as you see goals. Coming up in this one, we start Wan Bissaka to Greenwood here. Lovely play after Fred. Bruno Fernandes into Mata, and Mata absolutely smashes it past Pepe Reina. Absolutely beautiful here. And then the second goal here, Wan Bissaka involved again, lays off to Mata for the assist pass here into Bruno Fernandes, who just thunderbolts that thing into the back of the net. Rashford misses this game due to injury. But now it is time we crack on with the Getafe game. Obviously, um, Europa League, this is our pool. We've got Getafe, Celtic, and Arsenal. Arsenal Tusla or Tula, the uh, Russian side. So it, it, I'm not really sure what to think of this group. I think it's going to be a competitive group, but uh, I think we should definitely get through. I'd love to get Celtic through as well. Um, so that would be a bit of a thing. But anyway, let's go to team selection and have a look at what um, we're rocking with today. I've picked the team already. As you see here, a lot of youth come through this one. Obviously, we're going to start with Greedo up top. We've got Lingard, Gomez, Chong, you know, three young guns. Oh, yeah, let's be real. Well, what actually age is Lingard? He's like 28, isn't he? 26. Okay, it's too bad. Um, midfield, I'm going to go McTominay and Medbury. Hannibal Medbury, who, you know, it's been big bucks in this offseason again. I believe they paid 10 million for him. I believe in compensation to Monaco, even though he cancelled his contract with Monaco. So if you want to figure that one out, please do. Ethan Laird's going to get started right back. I think this kid's a really, really good prospect. Lindelof and Jones getting game. That's going to play left back, and that's because uh, Brandon Williams is not a fully 100% fit, but I'm going to put on the bench. I am going to probably bring on Williams for Dalot later in the game. Um, and then the bench pretty much speaks for itself. Matt Lee, Grant, James Garner, Brandon Williams, Axel Twin, CB, Odeon, Nagalo, uh, Andreas Pereira, and of course Romero is in goal. Um, I'm not trying to get Romero a move away, but you know, we'll have to see what happens to the team. I think it's a pretty good team. Happy with that. I would have liked to got Fossi Mensa in there. I would have liked to play him at centre back, but he's at injured. Same as well with uh Dimitri Mitchell. He's also at injured. So a player that I'm hoping, you know, will get back in the future. But you know, right now we don't really have that, you know, so unfortunately we're gonna have to do that. Is that Marshall playing up front for them? Oh, 
gave me mass. I wonder if they're related. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's get into this game. Let's motivate these boys up. All the best out there today. I expect nothing but a win from this match. It has to be a win here. Um, we're at Old Trafford. It's the first game of the Europa League. I've kind of tried to put the best squad we can put out there, but I guess we'll just say you got Maximovic, who's a good player. He used to play for Valencia. So anyway, first highlight here is actually a Getafe attack. This is not what you want to see on the first highlight, but hopefully our defense is well capable. And if Phil Jones hasn't played any football this season, so hopefully no any blunders. Lindelof back to Romero. Okay, that's good. That we'll take that any day of the week. You know, as long as I have a shot, we're good. We're playing off the back here. Jones, a little bit dodgy on Jones, but Dalot had a great start. Mejbri finds Lingard. Lovely pass off to Gomez. Chong whip it back. Find Laird. Find Laird. Find Laird. Laird whip it in. Laird whips it in, finds Gomez, first goal of the season. Angel Gomez, he needs to play if you know it in real life. He is, he's starting caliber, he's, he, he really is. Um, I've got to work him back into the into the Premier League side as well. I feel like he, he's such a good weapon to have. I was tempted to loan him out, but I feel like this season, I think he's best to keep him in the club and, and just to kind of integrate him into certain games. I'd love to see him with Bruno Fernandes, Pogba, and you know play them. As a three, I think that would absolutely be devastating. But anyway, one nil up here after seven or six, five minutes, pardon me. Um, so brilliant start to this game. Three shots to the one or three shots to nil. One shot on target to zero. We have no clear cut chances, so that's interesting. Interesting style. I haven't really followed that too much. It's set to go one up against Arsenal two lock. Be interesting to see. I think this will be a, a fight for um a fight for third really in the group or fight for second. Pardon me in the group. I can't make any chance. I think I made Rude Van Nistelrooy the one to do that. Anyway, highlight here for Getafe starts off. Ethan Laird picks the ball back up. Having a sensational game so far. Couldn't ask for a better you know, start. Chong, go on, Chongy. See what you got, Chong. Chong, come on. Pass the ball. Pass it, come on. Over to Dallow. Come on, Dallow. Tomney, controlling this game here. It'd be nice to get a second. Gomez. Gomez, oh my. That would have been an absolute beauty, that one would have been, but... Unfortunately not to be maimed, and oh, Jesse Lingard's picked up an injury. Oh, yikes, what is he, what, what happened here? Potential shoulder injury. Shoulder injury. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here now. We're going to have to take some out of position, really, aren't we? Gomez can play. Yeah, we'll, we'll shift Gomez out to the left wing. So a fantastic game inside. Um... Do I bring Nagalo on? No, I'm gonna bring him on later on. He's very low on match fitness, so um this is different. That's not the one it should be anyway. Um that wasn't meant to happen. Do we bring Mata on? Bring Mana on. I feel like Mata is just, you know, you know this. Bring James Garner on. Um this could be risky, but I'm gonna trust James Garner, a fantastic youth prospect. As you see there, his stats body pretty well. So, uh, yeah, let's see see what he's got. You know, into the fire you go, James. Let's, let's see what you got, boy. Let's see what you got. So, let's see what happens here. I think we might have picked a bit better in midfield, but we might have lost a bit in the left wing. Interesting, their, their player was injured as well. I don't, did they remove him as well? I think they did. So, yeah, they did. They brought Gelson Fernandez into the midfield. So, I don't know what happened there. Mejbri to whip this free kick in. That is definitely a penalty. Yes, it is. Garner is pushed over. And it is going to be... Who is this on the penalty? Is this Mejbri? I think it is. Hannibal Mejbri. Go on, Mejbri. Beautiful. 2-0. That is surely the game wrapped up now. We don't concede very much. There's his goal. United goal on debut. What a, what a moment it is for the Frenchman from Monaco. Beautiful little stutter step there. And just bang into the corner, really. No chance for the keeper. That is yeah, pretty much probably the game set match, I'd say. But we'll see if Getafe can get a shot you know, before half time. That'll be a pretty interesting one. They've got Cucurella here. Is actually, I believe he's up. Is he in the app, Bayern? No, he's not Barcelona, isn't he? Good player. And he had four minutes of injury time, so he definitely needs some time off for that one. But yeah, look at that. Dominant first half. 12 shots to nothing. Two on target to nothing. Two goals to nothing. So uh, yeah, we're. In a very good position here, with exactly where you want to be. Dressing room. I don't think I say anything, do I? I mean, passionate. Yeah, I'm very happy things going. Keep it up, lads. Easy peasy, making my job easy. You love that. Like you can't, you can't go wrong with that. 
Anyway, second half here starts off this layered, I presume, throwing it in. Yes, it is. You Garner. Come on, Garner. That's what you got. Whips into Greenwood. Falls for Gomez. It's blocked. Brilliant job there by Getafe. But Chong with another attempt and some good defense and goalkeeping by Getafe to keep us out there. That's a brilliant bit of work. We have the corner. Mejri's going to whip it in. Lovely sweep on that. Well, Mason Greenwood, it's off the line. Falls back. Jones. Phil Jones. Not the guy we want to have in there to whip it in. Back to Jones. I think the chance is probably gone. Or Fernandez has stolen us. Gelsa Fernandez, the Swiss player who plays for Getafe. Nipped it across. McTominay swipes it across. That's a you know a cynical foul, but sometimes you got to do them type of fouls in this game. You know, can't give them a free shot. And that was, you know, we'll take that. So, substitutions. I think what I'm going to do here. Actually, I'm not sure who I'm going to bring on. Like, I think, I feel like I should bring on Brandon Williams just to give him, um, maybe 20, 30 minutes in this game. But let's we'll see what happens here. Fernandez. Cabrera, you know, I'm happy to let them just pass it around looking for the, the opening. There's not much space there. Ethan Laird, brilliantly job there. Just breaks the attack up. And yeah, I think I might bring Lee Grant and Brandon Williams on. I feel like that's probably who I should bring on. I feel like they're the type of guys who need minutes. But uh, yeah, here comes Gomez and the attack. Gomez, oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Man of the match. Della assists. Yeah, this game is, it's officially over now. 3-0, three, 3 points, job done. I was a little bit nervous that we wouldn't have the firepower tonight, but I think we've definitely done that. And you know, hopefully in the future when we get, you know, guys like Fossi Mensa, Dimitri Mitchell back, we can, you know, put them into the this Europa League side and you know, they'll run like clockwork. That's exactly what's happened here in this one. Um gonna wait for the 60 minute mark, time to make the substitutions. Lee Grant, get your ass in goal. You know. I'm gonna pay him, might as well play him as I say. Uh don't Need to play any of these other guys. Um, Brian Williams in a left back covers that pretty nicely. Covers firm subs. I was going to cover subs for a sec. Anyway, that should be it. Holston. I think the question is will we get four or five here? I think that would be the only question that, you know, we have to ask. Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood. Mason, Mason, Mason. How did you not bury that bob in the back of the net? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I was tempted to take Greenwood off after a moment, but I feel like just leaving him on to get game time is probably more important. He's whipping another one in. Victor Lindelof, Gomez offside. Unfortunately, that one, it looked close. Let's have a look, ref. Let's have a look. How close is this one? Lindelof, onside. He's onside. Unbelievable. Robbed of a hat-trick. Angel Gomez deserved it. Kukrao picks up the yellow card. He's moved back to left back now. Interestingly enough, was playing left mid for most of the game. They're playing a very defensive formation, but Chong with the effort there. That's a, that's a heck of an effort, but a good save by their keeper, Saria. 15 to go on this one. I feel like, oh, will we'll Tuffy even get a shot off? Oh, lads, lads, Lee Grant. What are you doing, Lee? Oh, my. Lee Grant has just absolutely fluffed that. And nothing chance. Lee Grant just... I mean... Wow. Did not expect that. I expected a lot better from Lee Grant. Really poor. Complacent body language. I mean, it's more than just complacent. It's pathetic, mate. I should, definitely should be doing better than that. But that's a poor one to concede. Not happy with that one at all. At all, at all. But hey, you know, we're still winning, so... All is good, I suppose. And three minutes of injury time here. And they're just going to throw it into a 4 4 2 formation. Ethan Laird's been booked. Don't mind. 3 1 victory. We'll take that. Celtic win as well. That'll be an interesting game to see how Celtic do against Getafe. You know, will it be, you know, a two win split between each other or, you know, was one draw away from home? Interesting to see how that goes. But yeah, there you go. Angel Gomez, man of the match. Two goals. Should have been a third. 8.8. .8. He was fantastic. Oh. I really got to figure out how to get this guy into the side because he is just a fantastic player. He's wanted by Ipswich Town. Not a chance, lads. Absolutely no chance. You're too low a level for this lad. This guy deserves to be playing at the top level. He is that good. Five star, pretty much potential nearly. So, uh, yeah, we've got to figure out how to get him to the side more often. Anyway, um, let's do the old uh, review team talk. Well done, lads. That's a good one for us. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. You know, give them, you know, up their back a little bit you know make them sound like they're doing great that's what you know 
That's what all soccer players love. Anyway, Jess Lingard is going to be out. Oh, dislocated shoulder. Um, I leave it to the physio, really. I mean, small chance. Probably dislocated shoulders. If he does it a second time, it's probably going to have to, you know, get done. But they leave it to the physio for two months. It's, uh, it's a tough loss, but yeah. Um, get out to mid November, so it is what it is. But yeah, so. Let's look at the Premier League table as we finish off the episode today. As you can see, we're doing pretty nicely. Five games of the season, four wins, one loss. Of course, a loss to Wolves. 12 points, three off the top, where Chelsea and Liverpool are doing pretty damn well. Martial second in the Golden Boot Race. Love to see that. We don't have anyone in the average ratings. Interesting enough, that's dominated by Kovacic, Andreas Christensen, and Aguero. So, uh, it's not enough to work on, but yeah, brilliant start of the season. Four clean sheets for David De Gea. He's been pretty much lights out. Our defense has been, been very good so far. I'm happy with the things are going. We're doing well. Good start of the season is absolutely paramount to getting you know a good start. And interesting to see how we go up. But anyway, um, the game's coming up. We've got uh, Nottingham Forest in the Carabao Cup, the EFL Cup, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll definitely probably play the same team for that one. I might give Gallo a go, maybe up front from the start, but I'm not really sure we come back. Maybe it might be for the Tottenham game. I'm not really sure. It might be even for... Like, well, yeah, I think we'll do the Tottenham game probably, and then maybe a Liverpool-Arsenal double episode. We'll have to see. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the episodes. It's good to be back making videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Enjoy. Enjoy.